Okay, um... Oh, there's no voice lines. Hello, everybody. Welcome to, um, Cooking Companions. This game was, uh, recently in my recommended list, so I decided, goodness gracious, the music. I'm not a fan of music, I'm sorry. Or just have it in the background. Alright. Um, welcome to Cooking Companions. This is a uh, sweet little indie game, I guess. But it said horror. Um, so, uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, <laughs> maybe it's Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> why does he have a squirrel? <laughs> I'm not saying that squirrel isn't cute, but why does he have a squirrel? <laughs> anyway, um, that walk was brutal, but this cabin is amazing. Who are you all? I seem to have taken consciousness again. Have I been kidnapped? Full kitchen when you water, it really has everything. Finally, a place I can read a good book in peace. I can't wait to ta. Ah! Achoo! I'm sorry, everyone, it must be the dust. Get those allergies under control, Maria. Wait. <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna be judged all over the internet by these voices. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm sure with a little elbow grease we can make this cabin shine. So are you volunteering to clean, Gregor? <laughs> no. Not many supplies here. Guess we'll have to go out to get what we need. There's a fireplace for making stew, so let's gather up some firewood, okay? Leave that to me, little guy. I'll tidy up around the cabin. <laughs> that is not a girl voice. I'll tidy up around the cabin. Need to save Maria from dying due to this dust. Ha <laughs> ha. I apologize to everyone watching this video who has to suffer through this. Hey. <laughs> I just and I don't even give her a voice. I just say hey. <laughs> She's not dead yet, peeps. Pipsqueak. Quiet down. Calm down. Thanks, Natalie. <laughs> I think I'll go foraging outside with over 450 mosses, 900 fungi, fungi, and 70 slime molds. There's bound to be treasure up here. Roughing it is fun, and I only know so much about edible foods. We're in good hands. I think the slime molds will be the most delicious. Most well, certainly not. What about the fun guy? Do you even know which ones are poisonous, Natalie? I, uh, I could figure that out. You can be the canary in the coal mine, Natalie. I'm not ending up a corpse here. Eek. Keep both eyes open, little guy. Plenty of wolves and brown bears around. They won't be a problem. I read up on ten different techniques to incapacitate them. Number one is... And Natalie... Oh yeah, sorry, Marie. I carried away again. Haha. Uh -huh. I hope Natalie look for food. I'm definitely better at warding off wild animals. If we come up and take hand, it can always eat some of the food we've brought. You mean the emergency rations? Bad idea, chump. Hey, Natalie and Maria are getting the food. Gregor's gathering the firewood. That makes you our designated chef. Everyone's looking at you expectantly. You nod. Very excited to try your cooking. Alright, everyone, let's go to work while there's still sunlight. Later. Maria, and Natalie, Gregor. The three exit the cabin, leaving you and Karen alone. I think Natalie put the supplies in the kitchen. Thanks for helping out with the cooking. Save the game. Right click or hit. Do you have any experience making meals? Uh, of course. Is that so? Hmm. Looking at you, I think you'd be great. Good serving up food poison. Wow. Wow. Rude. Rude. Right. 
it looks like Karen will remember that. Anyways, going to check out the living room. Let's talk later. Karen heads to the living room and starts to dust scene a little bit. You decide to look around the kitchen to find the ingredients for the meal tonight. It's alright, you'll never know what you find around the cabin. Clues and secrets may be revealed by searching the area more than once. Why not give it a try? What area do you want to search for first? Uh, cupboards. First few cupboards are empty. Now we must put supplies elsewhere. Cupboards again. <laughs> cupboards again! <laughs> Great gift, Karen. Uh, covers again. No. No. Behind the wood pile. Behind the wood pile again. Norway spruce. Don't really know the difference between trees. Right, the drawers. Check the drawers on the left. Here's some dirty knives. Drawers again. The drawers again. Oh, you guys. <laughs> It's time! <laughs> Goodness gracious. Don't ask how I know how to do these voices. But that's what I'm picturing they sound like. Charm pets, hound off! Onion! Never fear, onion is here. <laughs> you have a deep voice, so I have to do a deep voice. Like my god, onion! <laughs> I'm embarrassing myself all over the internet. Like my cousin Cornbread says, I'll rise to the occasion. Raspberry! Oh, he's Mary. Raspberry. Oh, yeah. Potato? <laughs> he doesn't even have a voice. Cabbage stuffed me into the straw. I'm pretty sure this counts as kidnapping. Hey, ha, ha! Where are the champettes? Why talk with those boring humans? Yeah. All they have to give you is drama. Come chat with us instead. We'll share valuable recipes you can cook. We'll share with you our secret chompet recipes. Collect them all to become a five-star chef. Potato silent. So, break use your first recipe card. Cabbage. Roasted eggplant with some meat and pomegranate. Meat free. I guess, you know, <laughs> I guess they are vegetables. But uh, oh, yeah. if you ever want to talk, just come to the drawer. Jump up. Let's move out. Cabbage rudely slams the drawer closed. Doesn't seem like they'd be rude. <laughs> you wonder if what you just saw was real. You're slightly worried about what this means for your mental state. <laughs> Uh, that isn't the second time. <laughs> but only slightly. Hey. Oh, hey, did you find supplies? You shake your head. And Ali lied. He actually put them in the bedroom. Idiot. Here you go. You got the emergency supplies. Karen leaves you alone. You start a fire with some of the wood and get to work on cooking dinner. Night entree. Vegetable stew. A large saucepan over medium heat, you heat some water with potatoes, carrots, and celery in it. Fifteen minutes later, you drain the pan and set the vegetables aside. Placing some butter in the saucepan, you melt it over medium heat. Throwing some chopped onions in. Please don't tell me I chopped over a little onion. You hook in about ten minutes. The onions are tender and translucent. Translucent. Perfect. Next, mix, it, mix in some flour, salt, pepper, and heavy cream into the saucepan, adding the vegetables to the mixture. Hours pass. We're back. More firewood than you'll ever need. 
found some wild sorrel, maybe tomorrow we'll have bigger bounty. And Natalie's, Natalie's bearing the lead. We saw a red deer. M Maria spotted it. Yeah, that's great. Anyways. Killed 17 spiders today while you were out looking at deer. Yeah! That should come as no surprise. There's over 160 species of spiders here. Uh, 160? Don't worry, Mariah. I'm sure they were all in the bathroom or something. Heh, <laughs> no. Almost all of them were near the couch. Yeah! I was gonna sleep on the couch. Your eyes. <laughs> That's where 16 of them were. I'm not sleeping on that couch then. Hmm? And there's only two beds in the bedroom. Don't sweat it, Mariah. I can sleep anywhere, so I'll sleep in the rocket chair. I'll sleep with one eye open, just in case any of them swarm the couch. Thanks, Gregor. Karen and Lally, you two take the bedroom. Thanks, big guy. Joke's on you, Gregor. I always plan on taking one of the beds. Where will I sleep, then? I just realized. Or am I just, like, some... Gosh, don't... Who am I to these people? Hey, Natalie. I snore louder than a lumber yard. Yuck. <laughs> Sweet dreams, chump. You turn back to your bubbling vegetable stew and try it. Right. This tastes pretty good. You cook the vegetable stew. You set the table and ask everyone to dee in. What a wholesome dinner. First meal. If I had a knife, I'd make it all your last. Oh wow, this smells delicious. Thank you. You must be a world class chef. Karen takes a bite. It's bland as hell. Sure. You're bland as hell. <laughs> Garen! Tastes like every other vegetable stew I've ever had. So generic. I'll probably use some meat next time. Gross. For a side dish, we could break some bread and utilize the Frigeria Fresca, also known as strawberries, for some jam. Nobody cares, Pip Squeak. Oh, you laughed at Karen's polite ribbing. Nothing makes you happier than cooking a great meal for friends. This could very well be the best day you ever had. You go to bed soft. Are you up? Yes, I am, Gregor. How did you sleep? I was so warm last night, I didn't even need a blanket. Why is that? Did we leave the campfire on? Because... Depending on how with the fire is there even a fireplace? Because we could have burned down our house. <laughs> I'm asking useless questions. What time is it? About one hour till dawn. We have to pipe down, I'm trying to sleep over here. You're in the bedroom, we're in the living room. How close to this is are we? Or are the beds like right next to each other? <laughs> are the beds like in the living room? Like, what house is this? Guess it's not mine to judge. Yeah, Gregor, the birds outside aren't making much noise yet. We didn't bring many supplies, remember? Better to get a head start on gathering food. I honestly can't see the trees outside right now. Gregor? Did you see any spiders last night? There was a small one in the bathroom. Yeah. Actually, I did see. Actually, I did see a centipede by the sink. Maria turns a little pale. Karen's method with you, Maria. Let's find more than wild sorrel today. Okay. If you're lucky, little guy, maybe I'll teach you how to catch some wild brown trout. What's with you and me, big guy? Natalie's herbalism book. 
And Natalie's herbalism book stated that there's many more species of plants to eat out here. Let's leave the fish alone. Eh, there's nothing wrong with meat. You know, I'm not, uh, into meat. That's a shame. I'd wake up early to go fishing. Uh, I- ah, I skipped it! We'll get- they said something, we'll get to observe fish. Maybe we'll see more than Dread Deer today. That sounds like a waste of time, Gregor. Uh-huh. Maybe we'll find some blackthorn berries. I love blackthorn berries! Uh huh. We'll be back later. Can you watch our stuff today? You nod. The thank you. Thanks. Uh, hmm. Don't steal anything, okay? You nod. How do I check my recipes again? Bathroom. Bathroom. Basement. Basement sounds like a place that I would get stabbed. I mean, I don't... What if there's a cannibal living in this and he's just, like, not home for a couple days? We're screwed. <laughs> um... Suck with the Chompets. I like them. Chomp Hello! Hello! You almost crapped yourself. Yes, a manana! Yeah, the charm pets are somewhere in the basement. <laughs> so it's just us today. How about some fun cabbage facts? You shake your head. Yeah! Great! Cabbage, cabbage, cabbage! Cabbage has 24 calories and 100 grams and is a great source of vitamins K and C. Yes, a manana! Purple cabbage has even more vitamin C than green cabbage. Maybe you shouldn't ask Natalie why that is when he gets back. Globally, Russia eats the most cabbage. Pretty cool, right? I could have been a skull instead of a world-class comedian. Since you've been so patient today, I will give you the chompets. Secret recipe for Lebanese-style tabbouleh. <laughs> Not your normal meal, but I think you'll enjoy it. I'm not sure. Check out the recipe, go down to the main menu. Ah, it's on the main menu. Oh, yeah. Well, my work here is done. Champette? Hoo ha! Ozzy out. <laughs> Can you put me in the drawer? <laughs> I want to surprise the others later. <laughs> You're extremely relieved that the cabbage has stopped talking. <laughs> I I'm extremely worried that the cab just stopped talking suddenly. Um. You shut the door as per her request. Look over to the supplies and start planning your next meal. We're back! Hee <laughs> hee. Knock it off, Maria. It's pretty rare to be scared of one. It, it's not. What is he scared of? Don't tell me. <laughs> Who knew the big guy would be so scared of? St Shut up. You don't understand. I'm going to go. <laughs> what is this accent? I don't think anyone. Un I don't think anyone understands Gregor. He was just a marmot, Gregor, not a monster. Maria laughs so hard that your ears ring. Ah, 
Ah, you're gonna sneeze. <laughs> or is this like leading up to a sneeze? Tears are rolling down Maria's cheeks. She's laughing so hard that she's about to hyperventilate. Someone calm her down then. Stop Maria from hyperventilating. Absolutely not! <laughs> Gee. One left my- Oh, what <laughs> the hell was this? Oh my god. That got dark real fast. One last enough. <laughs> you don't get it. It's pretty personal. Then please explain, big guy. I, uh. Gregor looks incredibly uncomfortable. Heh <laughs> let's leave him alone. We found some raspberries and elderberries near the cabin. Quite a selection of berries. We also found more wild sorrel. Is this gonna be enough for a good meal? Everyone is looking at you for an answer. You decide to do an inventory of all available ingredients. It takes you a while, but you sign on your specialty. Cabbage rolls. You first bring a large pot of water to a boil. You let the cabbage leaves boil for two minutes, draining the pot inside into the sink. In a medium mixing bowl, you combine some cooked rice, onion, and an egg, some salt and pepper, along with some tomato sauce. You use your hands to mix thoroughly and decide to wash your hands after it won't come off. Dividing the rice mixture evenly between the cabbage, you, just, you then roll them up and tie a string around them so they stand one piece. You place your cabbage rolls in a large skillet over medium heat, pouring the rest of the tomato mixture over the top. Covering it, you bring it to a boil. You reduce the heat to low and let the cabbage rolls simmer for about 40 minutes, being sure to baste it with the liquid. You cook cabbage rolls. <laughs> would cabbage be mu mean? Uh, would cabbage be terrified if she knew what I did? <laughs> I mean, it looks like I've, uh... Or... You know, I'm not gonna think about it. Karen looks skeptical. And Allie looks curious. Gregor looks thrilled. You watch intently as everyone takes the first bite. Mmm, -hmm. that's pretty darn good. Wow, I could eat the whole batch myself. I think the vegetables do taste better, but I'm loving how tender the cabbage is. The sauce is pretty red. Did you use fresh tomatoes for it? It really adds to it. Spoon some of the liquid on top, and you'll thank me later. Incredible. It's definitely growing on me. Thanks again for cooking. This was really something special. Everyone leaves the dishes behind for you to do. Seeing as how I'm acting like a serial killer, I'm probably like uh, <laughs> gonna smash one over the head. Not happening. You settle in and go to bed. Everyone goes to bed full. Tomorrow will be another great day. Good morning, everyone. Yeah. Again, Gregor. Can't you let us sleep in? Not today. Why? Storm clouds are gathering outside. We need to find some food before it begins to downpour. Gregor, you're overreacting. We have enough food to last us a while. Enough food? I thought you used most of the supplies for last night's dinner. He's right. The meal you made was delicious, but it used a lot of what we had. Gregor's also correct. Precipitation is unusually high in this area, with many areas being high risk for flooding. It'd be foolish not to go out and look for a few today. You really think it will flood? Thankfully, the cabin is on high ground, but that doesn't mean we're safe from flood waters. It's always a possibility, so it can't hurt to be prepared. You're losing it, Gregor. Karen! There's nothing to worry about. I think Gregor's right, Karen. Huh? It won't hurt to prepare for the worst. Hmm. I think she's right, Karen. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Natalie, let's go outside and prepare for the storm. 
Foraging should be a key priority today. There are plenty of edible foods and it has better odds than trying to hunt. Give me a few minutes and I'll plot our route on some paper. Let me help, little guy. Natalie and Gregor head to the bedroom to consult the map. Maria and Karen are still hanging around. Tutorial, unfortunately in life you can't make everyone happy. When given a choice to speak to a character, choose wisely. You can only select one of them. Should I max out your bond with certain characters the unique dialogue? And which one would you like to talk to? Maria. I don't know much about her. Maria is painting through some of the books on the bookshelf. You walk over to her. There are some great books here. Which one is your favorite? I'm gonna say the crafting one. Oh, it's military. What type of military? I'm curious about what alloy composition our cauldron is. I haven't seen one like that before. Anyway, great choice. Yes, my Minecraft experience has a has a oh. I've earned her heart. Didn't know that you were so smart. Calm down. <laughs> Let's talk again later, okay? <laughs> we need to calm down. You start to blush a little bit. You hear a cheer from the other room. Sounds like the two are wrapping up their meeting. Gregor and Natalie come back from their meeting. Gregor is blushing slightly. Hey, can you cook something while we're out? You nod. Thank you. Alright everyone, we have our route now. Let's beat those rain clouds. The group leaves, determined as ever. You have the cabin all to yourself. It's that noise sounds like it's coming from the kitchen. Radio. What's going on with that radio? You didn't even notice it on the ground when you were it. Did somebody leave this radio here? It looks newer than anything you've seen before. Seems to be broken. Better hold on to this. Before you cook dinner, what should you check out? Kitchen! Sean Pets. Hello! Hello! Good to see you again. Onion! Thought you abandoned us. Why are you trying to fool them? Go ahead and make those meals you enjoy so much. Raspberry? No thanks. That vegetable stew? Gross. You already stunk up the cabin last night. Spare us a repeat. Cabbage. Onion. It almost smelled as bad as you, Stinky. Boy boy. Almost. Aren't you going to give them the recipe, Onion? Boy boy. I guess. Hey, ever noticed those four humans don't give you any recipes? Bye -bye. Those monsters. That's why you should spend more time with us. Right? Of course. I have the perfect recipe for you today. I wonder if there's an. <laughs> I wonder if you. You know, I'm gonna get that out of my head before I say something on video. <laughs> It'll make the kitchen smell nice afterwards. And it will impress dinner guests. You received the Porsche recipe. Boy, boy. Don't burn down the cabin making it, okay? You know yeah. <laughs> Don't be a stranger. Champette? Rosie uh, out! Yeah. Life's first chef. You chop the drawer and wait for the others to return back. Where are you is back early today? Hey, the others are still looking for food outside. Natalie found some more berries. But nothing that will feed all of us. Please don't tell the others. But I'm a little worried about our supplies. I crunched numbers and we don't have enough food, even with rationing, to last if there's a big storm and we get stuck here. Marie seems disappointed in your inventory management. Can you try cooking with a little less this evening? You nod. Thank you. You've done such a great job with meals so far. You're very sweet. Is Marie and blushing a little bit? Hee <laughs> hee. 
Well, I didn't even have to do anything. Maybe you can teach me to cook sometime. You know what? Looking forward to it. Hey, could you hold some? You could hold some cooking classes here someday. Rudely interrupting a tender moment. Why is it a tender moment? <laughs> Don't put that thought in anyone's head. The others burst into the cabin. <laughs> Don't be so down, everyone. We got tons of good berries. Ch Jam is so bland without any sugar. Do you have any sugar? You shake your head sadly. Yikes. Turn that frown upside down, Karen. Who knows what tomorrow will bring. I'm not smiling for you, Gregor. Eek, uh, you missed out. The sunset was really tremendous on our way back. Hues of orange, red, and even a little purple poking out. Looks pretty just from there. Red sky at night, sailors delight. Red sky morning, sailors take warning. So we can expect a sailors delight tomorrow? That's awesome. You're such an optimist, big guy. We must have walked a few miles today. Gorgeous sights, you can even see the snow on the tips of the mountains. That rumble sounded like a dying calf. <laughs> it's an assumption to make, unless we know what it sounds like. You look from person to person, trying to determine who it was. It was definitely Maria. Maria, I recognize that sound from anywhere. Yeah, guilty. Maria looks embarrassed, but the group laughs at her honesty. Except for you. You search your mind for something to say, but all you can think of is an old riddle. Um, those who have it do not want it. Those who have it least succeed. Those who have it for too long perish. When you feed it, it gets smaller. What am I? Hmm. Dust. Try again, big guy. Everyone is pondering the answer. Maria's face lights up. I got it. Is it hunger? Correct. Yeah, I was gonna guess that. Sure, Karen. So, uh, what's on the menu tonight, chef? Bread and jam. You crush the berries in your small mortar and pestle, spraying it on the some crusty bread. You cooked or as it's cooked. Cooked in, you know, well, not quotations, but. The bread's a little tough. Gregor, don't look a gift horse in the mouse. But this homemade jam is to die for. Haha. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're right, Gregor. This bread stinks. Maria. Everybody laughs. You're not sure this could be called a meal. But they got the job done. Everyone thanks you for dinner and heads off to sleep. You could have been wishing you had done more. You have a strange dream. Something is riding on your back. And it's becoming a nuisance. You try to see it in the mirror, but you can't get a good look at it. You try almost everything. But it won't get off. The pain between your shoulder blades is getting worse by the minute. You wander away from the cabin, stumbling by a river to soak your pain into cold water. You didn't want things to come to this, but you've exhausted all other options. You swim out to the middle. Locks on the bottom cut your feet. You slip and fall to your knees. You lean back, trying to submerge the thing underneath the waters. But it won't drown. It won't drown. It won't drown. You splash frantically, plunging your head beneath the water. The current takes you downstream. You try swimming to the shore, but it's no use. Water fills your mouth and nostrils. After a minute, you stop struggling against the current. As you gaze up at the sky, you feel it leaving your back, drifting into the sky as you sink to the bottom. As you take your last gasp, you see what was on your back staring into your eyes. But you don't even have the air in your lungs to scream. You wake in a cold sweat. Spooky.
Wake up. Sorry, you're making strange noises in your sleep. What, what's going on, Gregor? Did the lightning wake you up? It woke me up. I'm trying to fall back asleep, but it's so loud. Uh, let's just get back to sleep and talk about this in the morning. Everyone nods in agreement and gets back to bed. That's the way to having another nightmare. Except for you. You can't fall back asleep. You still have goosebumps from the nightmare. Karen's snoring is louder than a sawmill. <laughs> you find it very loud and very distracting. You don't sleep a wink. Everyone is now up and awake in the cabin. You hear the front door open and quickly slam shut. Natalie sounds petrified. I looked out the door and were completely surrounded by flood waters. Looks like the sailors take boring was more appropriate for today. Maybe it'll clear off tomorrow? You can't steal big guy's optimism, Karen. Why the hell not? That's all he has going for him. Eh. He's also good at chopping wood, though. Uh -huh. Knock it off, you two. Maria, do you think it'll clear up tomorrow? I gave it a 27% of clearing up tomorrow. Based on what? I was bored stiff, so I read a book on local precipitation levels for the last 20 years in the living room. Sounds like you're stealing in Natalie's thunder. Natalie, you're a book nerd, right? Why didn't you read it? Eh. Can I make the past cover? Is that right? It is. That bookshelf has some great books on artists and crafting and natural sciences. Why let them sit there gathering dust? How did you arrive at a 27% chance of it clearing up tomorrow? It's easy. Take the time of the year, multiply it by a factor of... Ray begins to explain meteorology to you. Please explain it to me in depth. If I can, uh, get a history or science lesson out of this game, then, uh, my teachers would be impressed. <laughs> She isn't dumbing any of this down. It's similar to this. <laughs> blah, 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 equals zero, where? So the first thing you need to understand, minutes of explanation feels like hours. We look over at Natalie. He's listening intently to Mineria. So intently he hasn't blinked yet. You can see his eyes drying up. A tear rolls down one of his cheeks. This is brutal to watch. <laughs> Maria finally wraps up her lecture. Hands with a bell. Nobody claps. Tough crowd. Ma Maria, that was all inspiring. You lost me a few minutes in, but it's okay. I didn't understand a word of it, haha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Natalie turns to you. Anyway, there's no telling how long this will last. We can't leave the cabin until these flood waters stop. I know our food situation is a little tight, but I don't know. You'll make the right decisions. I believe in you. Me too. Looks like we have enough leftover berries for more bread and jam. I'll pass on the jam. Just give me more crusty bread. Everyone laughs. Except for you. With everyone stranded in the cabin, you need to keep everyone fed and happy. You sneak out to the kitchen while everyone's still talking. Hello! <laughs> Don't worry, as leader of the Chompass, I'll make sure none of the humans know about us. Onion! That big guy would try eating me like an apple, so definitely don't tell them about us. Hey, hey. Are your plans going awry? Ha ha ha! Oh yeah, I forgot to give him my deep voice. You know what, we'll, 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 we'll go with um, cute voices for all of them. Got another cornbread classic for you. Did you hear about the bread maker's bakery burning down? No? Her business is now toast. <laughs> that one's been done to death. Do you know how raspberry and milk were introduced? You tell her no. Raspberry! Raspberry milkshake. Uh, like raspberry handshake. Look at that audible groan. <laughs> <laughs> Did Cornbread teach you that one? No, wasted an entire day thinking about that terrible pun. 
Ahaha, <laughs> it was well worth the time and effort, Raspberry. Maybe I'll win the annual chomp at comedy at competition this year. How many of you are there in that drawer? Like, is there like a civilization down there? Raspberry! Of course. Onion! Not while I'm here. <laughs> I won't choke on stage this year. Isn't that every year, Bread? Hey, 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 hey. We still talking about that closing line, Red. You're going to do great this year. <laughs> Anyways, don't even think Cabbage. of eating us if you're hungry. Boy, boy, boy. Chomp that stink to get stink stink. Chomp that stink. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't keep on saying stink. Why do I keep on saying stink instead of stick? Goodness gracious, it is one word. Chomp that stick together through thick and thin. Rain or shine, Run. feast and famine. Potato, I swear to God, repeat the line or we're locking you up again. Life or death. That's right. Jump it. <laughs> Move it. They just like, uh, lock up the non obedient ones. Is that what's happening back there? And how do they lock them up? The basement. You bring the crusty bread and jam into the living room. Can interrupts as you bring in the food. Took you long enough. Can looks at the two slices of bread left in the mason jar of raspberry jam. There's mold on these last two breads of sli slices of bread. Well, uh, you don't have to do, Karen. Maybe if we had picked up some fish, uh, you know, we would have survived. Uh, Karen is right. What the hell is the matter with you? You grip the knife tightly in your hand. You think this is enough for five of us? Oh, wait, we can't throw this bread away. It's all we have left. Gregor is right. An alley will mold spores give us food poisoning. I am a no scientist. Sorry. Hmm. Let's pick off as much mold as we can. We can't leave with the flood of water, so this will have to last us another day. Everyone grimly nods, ripping apart their piece like a pack of wolves. Rigger seems to unhinge his jaw and eat it in one bite. He looks like a duck eating bread. Thanks again. Bread and jam is much more meal, but it's more than we had when we left Ukraine. This set um, after the invasion of Ukraine. My heart goes out to all those who are affected by it, by the way. Plenty of rainwater outside, so at least we won't die of dehydration. True. But well, we can't, gosh darn, uh, leave the house, either. So, uh, I'd say, uh, that's a bit of a problem, Natalie. And, uh, unless you would like to find a solution to that problem, it is a problem. <laughs> Until the storm is over, nobody should leave the cabin. It should clear up if we just give it a chance. Natalie, where are you getting that information from? What one of the books on the bookshelf about the climate here? Hmm? You're illiterate, so that is definitely a lie. Eh! I've seen him reading. Little guy's been studying. I'm serious. He pretends to read those books because he wants us to think he's that he's smart. But I can tell he's just staring at the page, faking it. What do you think? Natalie can read. I saw it with my two, um, two eyes. You must be going blind, then. Yeah. Thanks. I don't know why Karen would make something up like that about me. You aren't fooling anyone, and Natalie. Karen has stormed off. How many parts of the human body are edible? <laughs> we can eat her. Thanks for backing me up. Gonna have someone so positive around. Now he looks relieved. You think he'll remember that? I guess let's call it a day. Yeah, sure. Everyone shuffles off to their sleeping areas. Ten minutes later. 
Hey. Karen likes to find somebody's weakness and use it against someone. She's frustrated. Just wanted to thank you for backing me up earlier. You're very sweet to do that. Natalie uh, looks at you with a look of admir admiration. Why do you have s I just keep remembering. Why do you have squirrel? Can't we eat that? Or is that like your pet? See you tomorrow. Now he looks like he's blushing as he walks away. I'm definitely sure that Natalie will remember that. You get ready for blood, bed, bled, <laughs> bed, and put a blanket on. You go to bed very hungry. You don't dream the entire night, but you sleep through everyone waking up. And that's how fast the deer could run if startled. Well, wow. incredible. Impressive. I wish we had a deer here. With the food getting lower, let's just skip today's meal. Shh. No. It's only for one day. Various cultures and religions have practiced fasting throughout history. That doesn't make us feel any better, Natalie. What options do we have? Our food wasn't rationed properly. Natalie leaves, mumbling to himself. So passive regards of living. Everyone goes to a separate area. Karen in the bedroom, Rigger in the living room, Marie in the kitchen, Anna and Natalie in the bathroom. Who do you want to talk to? Well, uh, we'll talk with Maria more. Oh, didn't hear you coming, huh? I was just double checking if there was any food we might have missed, but I couldn't get the drawer open. Jump outside! <laughs> Could you give it a try? Not. Great. While you go do that, I'm going to get some more reading done. You think Maria will remember that? You have a third heart. Later. Give the drawer a hard yank go. Hello! Hello! Is the thunderstorm keeping you up at night? Run. You just need to roll with it. Alright, Terry, you whispered so quietly, you lean over to here. You need to talk soon. <laughs> Please listen to me when the time comes. Anyways. Yes, Barry! Please don't let the others see us. It is getting dehydrating to do that. <laughs> These voices. Cabbage! That's right, Raspberry. Part of being a chompette is secrecy. <laughs> I wouldn't want those humans to overhear our meetings, now would we? You shake your head. Good. Chompettes? Uh -huh. You're on out. You're not giving me recipes! These liars. Wish the rain would just stop. We're all doing great. We almost we must be, almost be at the end of this nightmare. I'm so hungry. Me, me too. You are too. You wish everyone a good night and get ready for bed. You go to bed with a growling stomach. Wake up. I said, wake up. The rain falls non-stop again. Did you have anything to do with this? Why is my heart beating so intently while I talk to you? You don't answer a question. <laughs> Always thinking with your stomach, right? You sure you consider? Might say what little humanity you have left. At least I tried. I won't have a guilty conscience by the end of this. Go back to sleep. Monster. What did I do? Easily forget about Raspberry's conversation. You have a strange dream. A boy is yelling at you in the kitchen. You keep telling him to lie down on the tray. 
but he keeps shaking his head, calling you names. So you do it. You lie down on the tray and make your body as flat as a board. You show him how it's done. His anger turns to courage, and he pushes you into the oven. As the stench of burning hair fills your lungs, you see him staring back at you. You wake in a cold sweat. Couldn't sleep. Natalie has bags under his eyes. The storm is too loud. Karen looks out of it. The cabin was creaking so much last night. It sounded alive. Breaker looks a little gaunt. I got a good look out the window. And couldn't see anything due to the rain. Great observation, Craker. I was so hungry last night. I kept pacing around my bed. Karen okay, turns to you. When is this going to end? I checked outside the door again. The flood waters keep rising. Unfortunately, we're going to need to stay put unless one of us wants to drown in rainwater. As soon as the weather, le weather lets up, we'll be able to scavenge for supplies. How close is the nearest town? I don't know. They show a map on you? I think I dropped it while we were running after Gregor. I'm sure he'll show up eventually. Ah, <laughs> Maria and Natalie go white as a sheet. How are we going to find our way back now? We'll have to ride out the storm. Maria looks at you. We're down to our last slice of bread. I don't know how much longer we can put off eating. The group stares at you. It'll clear up in no time. Maybe you're right. The group looks worried. They all gravitate to an area. You can tell Gregor is putting on fake optimism. Maria is having trouble. Which one do you want to speak with today? We'll finish with Maria and then if we can replay the game we can uh... It's cold as hell over here. Hell is not cold as far as I know. Um, unless you consider Russia to be hell then both Siberia and Russia to be hell, in which I can uh, say, yeah, you're probably right. I'm surprised Gregor isn't freezing to death at night. How does he do it? You explain to Maria how the size of a person and fat content determine how warm they are naturally. Yeah, wish I was as big as Gregor. But to be honest, I don't need to be that tall to make a difference in the world. You know what he wanted to do for a career? Maria does her best Gregor impression. Split firewood and gaze at the stars. How boring is that? Depends on the person, but pretty boring. You're so funny. Thanks for coming in and chatting with me. Maria blushes a little bit. Yep, you make it easier to pass the time. Thank you. You're pretty sure Maria will remember that. You thank her and leave the bedroom. Come on, we went together. They all look grim. You cut the tension in the room with a knife. Well, you could cut the tension in the room with a knife. Everyone is staring at you. They're expecting that last piece of bread for dinner. You bring it out. Everyone cannot take their eyes off it. You instruct everyone to take a pinch. And slowly, all five of you take it and tear it apart like a wishbone. Everyone studies their piece of bread carefully, wondering how long it will last. Karen is the first to eat hers. She chews each bite of few hundred times before swallowing. Nelly chooses cautiously, opening his mouth once he's finished each bite. Maria nibbles on it silently, eyes wide move from person to person, and Gregor. Gregor just pops it in his mouth like a cherry. It was gone in an instant. The group thinks you awkwardly. It's not much, but you've run out of options. What about that dead mouth? Dead mouth? Dead mouse. You wish everyone good night and get ready for bed. You go to bed starving.
Good morning. Morning. Let me just give the rain stopped. Still flooding. What are we going to do? Humans can live about two to three weeks without food. Water isn't a concern. Rainfall should end in a day or two, right? Actually, precipitation can occur more than 215 days a year here. But do you really think you'll land that long? Natalie. Natalie, it's been days already. What makes you think you'll stop soon? Eh. Relax, everyone. Let's see how long we can ride this out. Finger crossed, it's done by tomorrow. Panic is slowly creeping in. Everyone's looking scared. But you need to survive. Karen and Gregor begin to discuss next options. The owner will speak with Marie in the kitchen or Natalie in the living room. <laughs> we'll be confident and speak with Maria. Hey. Maria looks relieved to see you. How are you holding up? Uh, uh, is this more difficult than Ukraine? No, not nearly as bad as Ukraine. My father was a farmer, extremely bright but extremely stubborn. After they took him, we struggled like other families, but people kept calling him a traitor. Even after he was gone, our village went mad from starvation after the rationing got extreme. Parents sending their children to orphanages instead of letting them starve at home. It was terrible, absolutely terrible. Eventually we decided we needed to escape, so we stole supplies until we had enough for the journey. To keep our spirits up, Gregor described it as a vacation. Usually don't face death during vacation, though. Thanks for listening. I don't think any of us can take this much longer. Gregor's voice starts to crack. I don't want to ask this, but it's time. One of us needs to go outside and search for food. Everyone is silent. I'll go, Maria says. But Maria, I used to swim all the time near my house, so I probably have the best chance of swimming through the floodwaters. No, let me go instead. You won't get very far if anything happens to your glasses and Natalie. You're blind as a mole rat, remember? That's true, but... Little guy, let me go. Gregor, I... Sounds good to me. But Karen... His arms are definitely the longest, so he'd probably be the best at climbing trees out of all of us. No, that wouldn't be right, Gregor. Let me go instead. I get none of, none of the options are good ones. All we need to find food or health. Gregor grabs a branch from the wood pile. He cuts it into different measurements. Since we can't come to consensus, let's draw for now. Uh, we'll each pick one from my hand. The shortest will go outside to search for food. You not worry about drawing. You saw where you cut the branch length. So you can tell which is the biggest of the one bunch. You pick it. You watch the others intently. What would be Gregor? And Hadley. Karen. What would be... Looks like I've got the shortest. And the slow, somber music plays. Darn. Natalie is quiet. Uh, Maria. Uh, Maria. It's okay. I watched Natalie forage earlier, so I'll know what to look out for. Just wait until you find higher ground, then scout the area. Maybe I'll find a fish out there. Everyone looks heartbroken. Karen, Natalie, Gregor, I'll keep us alive. I promise. She promised. Everyone watches as Maria leaves the cabin. The silence is deafening. G goodbye. The door shuts behind her. You can faintly hear her yell about how cold the water is. 
and then silence. That is twisted. That that theme song right there. That is twisted. That is twisted. That is like happiness, but just sinister, and it is twisted. What? <laughs> the game developers did amazing. <laughs> Karen, is, with her name all, is that red? I am sure we'll see her again. The rest of the group nods. Everyone stays up, waiting and waiting. The sun is completely set. I think this is where I'm going to leave the episode for today. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Uh, that would make my day. And I hope it made your day. And, uh, if you enjoyed this video, um, maybe you can go check out the game on Steam as I'm enjoying it so far. And, uh, it, it, it will really help out the creators. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all next time where we will continue this, uh, story. <laughs>